In this video we're going to cover making a V-carve inlay using F engrave. We're going to start with two different colored pieces of wood and two carving bits, a V-bit and a straight cutter. Uh, starting in the opening window of F engrave, we're going to open up a bitmap file. And this is going to be my logo. We're going to check our general settings. I'm going to set some preferences to my liking on this page. After these preferences are set, we'll set v-carving mode and do some detailed settings in the v-carve window. We need to set the bit angle to match the bit that I'm going to use. We're going to set a cut limit. That's going to minim or it's going to set how deep the inlay is going to be into the base piece of wood. The prismatic overcut is how much farther into the wood we're going to carve when we're doing prismatic cutting. Um, it's going to cut a little beyond the point where we need to cut for the inlay and that's going to allow us to get a cutting edge to remove the inlay wood from the other carved piece of wood. I set a couple of cleanup parameters and then I calculate the V-carve for the base piece of wood. And I'm also going to calculate the cleanup here. I see a small area that's going to need a little bit of cleanup. And here you see just a small area that needs a V-bit cleanup. So we'll save that vclean file and then we'll go back to the main window and save the base vcarve. And here we go cutting that those two files. That was pretty quick. Now for the inlay part we're going to mirror the image. That's a very important step so it will fit into the other carved piece. And then we're going to set prismatic cutting. And that's where the prismatic overcut will come into play. And I already have my clean diameter and my V-bit cleanup step set to what I like. Now I'm going to calculate the cleanup. And for this we'll have cleanup that'll be both V-bit cleanup and using the 1 8 inch straight cutter. We have to rename the files to differentiate them from the base files that we used, that we just previously saved. And after these files are saved, we can go back, we'll set up our darker cherry piece of wood and do the cutting with the milling machine on those. Here we have the v-carving. This is the v-carve cleanup file. Now we're going to switch bits here in a minute. Here we go, we have the waste inch cutter <clears throat> cleaning up the rest of the wood. Now you can see I have the two pieces that'll fit together and there's a small gap between those pieces of wood when they're assembled. And that's a 1 inch drill bit that I'm sliding between there. And that was a setting that we input into the uh, prismatic overcut so that whatever you put into into that value you'll you'll get that gap there and to glue these together we just apply glue to the uh, inlay portion of it and stick them together I'll clamp this up 
and let it dry. It's usually best to let that dry overnight. Uh, I have done it where it just dries for a few hours. Sometimes the glue is a little bit sticky. After the glue is dry, you can come back. Uh, it's best to hold it into a vise or something. You can use a hacksaw to cut the inlay piece of wood off. In this case, I'm going to use an oscillating tool with a saw blade. After the inlay piece of wood is removed, a little bit of sanding and the image comes, becomes clear as you get closer to the base wood. And there we have it.